Hello, this is Ari with Modern Telecom. I'm going to be running through a little basic tutorial on using the XU series phones. The three of these phones are going to operate very similar in nature. There's some slight differences with regards to the feature keys located on the right hand side of the phone, whereas the X3 doesn't have any, so there's less things that we can cover in that model phone. Um, but there are um, what's called star codes or feature codes, which can be used on any of the phones to activate features that would be missing on these buttons. So for example, here we have a paging button. So if I push this paging button, I'll do it on this phone. This is a test page. So that's a real easy way to broadcast a text, uh, a paging. Um, but in the absence of that button on this phone, you would just have to know that the code to activate that feature would be 900. This is a test page. This is a test page. So now having these feature keys down here is also very useful for monitoring the status of extensions. So if you have colleagues that are on the phone, I'll move the screen over here. So for example, if I am on this, uh, this phone, now the red light has um, indicating on the, uh, on the phone, it's lit up, to let me know that that phone extension is in use. I can move this one over here. There we go. So it shows that that phone is in, is in use by way of the, uh, the red light. Also, supposing a colleague is in a meeting and doesn't want to be disturbed, if that colleague were to push the do not disturb button on their phone, it then changes the color of their extension to orange on these two phones. So if that uh, can be helpful for a receptionist to know that the, uh, the person is on do not disturb before transferring a, uh, a call over to them. To access the company directory on any model of these phones, you can push the directory button. Once you've gone into that, that's, so this will be the extensions of everyone in the company. So this has nothing to do with the extensions that are listed here on this screen, but all the extensions within the company will be listed there. And that can be accessed from any of the model phones. If you want to call somebody, you simply move your cursor down on top of the person, and then you can hit dial. I'll cover a quick exercise now that we've made our first call on how to do call transferring. So let's suppose I've received a call on this phone. And I want to transfer from this phone. I'm going to turn off speakerphone here so it's not so much echoey. So I want to transfer from this phone over to this phone now. So the extension on this phone is 272. Now, because I have a speed dial button here, instead of remembering that it's 272, I can actually just push this button. So by clicking that right now and then hanging up, we've moved the call over. Now, in this case, we want to transfer it back, but we do not have a uh, speed dial button to do that. So we're going to have to push the transfer button and then actually key in the extension manually and then push transfer. Hang up, and now the call has moved over to this phone. Likewise, another way that you can transfer a call is by doing what's called an attended transfer. An attended transfer would mean that you are going to um, consult with the person or stay on the phone um, during the transfer process to, to tell the person of the call that you're transferring before hanging up. So to do that, we're going to push the transfer button, type in the extension that we want to, um, to transfer this over to, so in this case 272, and instead of transferring, we're going to press dial. Now we're actually just making a phone call to this phone. We'll have a little conversation first and say, hey, I have so-and-so on hold for you. Will you take the call? And if that person says yes, and it is indicating that the original caller is on hold while you're talking to the new caller. So when I press the transfer button again, it's going to take the person off hold, transfer them to the person we're speaking to, and disconnect this phone. I click that, and it says, please hang up. The operation is done. So what we've effectively done now is we moved that call. Um, we, we first spoke to the person, and then we completed the transfer to move it over there. Another way to actually move calls between phones is using the parking buttons. So parking buttons are used to place a call kind of in a space where it can then be retrieved from another phone. So for example, I have a parking spot right here called uh, Park Park One. I'm gonna click that right now. It's disconnected this phone. So the, the, the caller, which is this person here, 
Um, he's not disconnected. He's now listening to music. So he's on hold. He's in a parking spot. And that parking spot can be, um, you can pull someone out of that parking spot from any other phone. So it's flashing here to indicate, hey, there's someone in parking spot one. It's also flashing on every other phone in the building will also be flashing to say that there's somebody um, somebody there in parking spot one. So at any other phone, I just need to press that. And now I've pulled that call out of parking spot and it's on this phone. I could choose a different parking spot, put them back in and go to any, addition, any other phone and retrieve them. And there we go, now we're back. So if you have an indicator on the screen, you'll see a, an envelope indicator that you have uh, voicemail. Also, this red light at the top will kind of slowly, uh, slowly pulse, slowly flash to let you know that you have uh, waiting voicemail. You can push the envelope button. You are calling your mailbox for the first time. To identify your extension, you may record your name. This recording will be used when someone reaches your mailbox or when the auto attendant redirects a call to your extension. To start recording your name now, press 1. To skip recording your name, press 2. You may record your name later at any time. Okay, so that is a first time setup message from the voicemail system because this phone hasn't been uh, used yet. And I wanted to let you know that recording your name is just exactly as it sounds. It is not the welcome, um, welcome greeting, it is just the name. So you are just to say, you know, your name. Uh, and uh, that's going to be used for the directory services when you are transferring calls or from the auto attendant, if you're selecting an extension, then the system will uh, repeat the name back to you. After you've recorded the name, you are then prompted to record a personal welcome message, and that would be the greeting that says, thanks for calling, I'm not here. If you choose to skip that greeting, a system-generated one will be provided, so you don't have to feel pressured to record a greeting if you don't want to. So this brings up the call history uh, screen um, on phones that don't have that button. So over here, there's a button up here that says call log. So it's the same thing. It can get you into that screen. And this is where you can kind of shuffle through all your inbound calls, your outbound calls, calls you may have missed, etc. There's a button here that says out of service. And you might confuse this what, with what I explained do not disturb does, but it's do not disturb would only take this particular phone and make it so it doesn't ring. But if there's a situation that you want the entire company to be on do not disturb, so no calls will come into the company at all, we have an out of service feature. Night service activated. So a good example of use with this would be at, uh, let's say, 5 p.m. Um, it's now going to be after hours. So the last person that leaves the office can click this option and it will take the all calls and send them to voicemail for the entire organization. So on any phone that, uh, that has these displays on them, we can program a light to eliminate here. So it lets everybody know that the phones are out of service. Then the first person who comes in in the morning can just take it, uh, turn that mode off. Night service deactivated. And now um, the main incoming lines will ring as, uh, as normal and, and people will be able to select extensions, etc., cetera, to, to reach you. Um, next, I'll move on to using the conference rooms. So conference rooms um, is what we would, uh, what we train people now to use instead of uh, making conference calls, um, where you have to call a whole bunch of people and juggle the extensions around. You can simply um, activate a, any conference room by selecting one that has a green light that's available, and you'll, you'll activate the conference room. Welcome to the conference server. You are now entering the conference. You are the first participant in the conference. Please hold the line. All right, so once we're in on the conference, we're the only person here. So we would just instruct somebody else in the company at a certain time to also call, call in to conference room one. So from any other phone, and it says here that it's red light, so it's in use, but if you're scheduled to be in that conference room at that time, another person can just go ahead. Welcome to the conference server. You are now entering the conference. There is one more participant in the conference. So now there's no more hold music and the two, two phones are bridged together. Uh, this can continue on. Anybody in a company can um, enter the conference room. If you're calling externally, then at the auto attendant, you would just need to know the conference room code. In this case, it's 331, and then that would get you entered in. Um, if you're using a phone that doesn't have one of those speed dial buttons, you could just simply dial 331. Welcome to the conference server. You are now entering the conference. There are two more participants in the conference. And there you go. If somebody had called into reception, for example, and needed to get into the 
conference room, the reception could just transfer their call to extension 331, and that would put them into the conference room. Um, and, and that's how they could enter. So you could also call somebody and transfer them into the conference room. So it, it works kind of like just a, a uh, another extension on the system, but in fact, it's a room. I'm going to show you a feature um, where you can pull someone out of the auto attendant. So an auto attendant is when a client calls in, they're going to hear a message like this. Please enter the extension number. For our dial by name directory, press nine. Please enter the extension number. Right. So while somebody is in that menu, if you're in the office and you're at another phone and you see the auto attendant light flashing, that means there's somebody in the auto attendant trying to reach somebody. You can just press that button and you'll actually take them out of the auto attendant and then you can, you can help them. You can say, hi, um, you know, how can I help you or direct your call? There's a feature on the Fanville phones that have USB ports. So that's these two models where if you've inserted, inserted a, um, a USB memory key into the back of the phone, you can use that as a way of recording calls. So I'll give you an example here by just calling a, uh, an extension. Now, while we're talking on the phone, I could push the uh, programmable button here called USB record. Now what's happened is a uh, red dot is at the corner of the screen indicating that the call is being recorded. At the end of the call, to retrieve that, vid that um, sound file, you can go into menu, application, USB, browse audio. And now there's a bunch of audio files on here and you can select one of them and you can play it back. Now what's happened is a red dot is at the corner of the screen indicating that the call is being recorded. All right, another way that you can get those audio files off is by removing the USB key. I just have a tiny little keychain here in the back and if I take that out, I can put this uh, memory key into my computer and there'll be a series of uh, the WAV files uh, will be time and date stamped on that, uh, on that drive. All right, hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. And thank you very much for watching.